What's going on guys? My name is Derek. Welcome to my channel. You could probably tell by the thumbnail and the intro of this video that my long-awaited wheels for my Panigale V4 Speciale are finally here. So without further ado, let's take a look. <laughs> Well, there they are, guys. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> These are my new wheels for my Panigale V4 Speciale. As you can see, the name there, they are the ThyssenKrupp carbon fiber wheels. Um, I won't tease you guys anymore. Let me... Uh, let me put the camera on the tripod and we'll open these up and take a peek. All right, let's take a peek here, see what we got. So here they are. They come in these awesome bags. And this is... This is the rear wheel see that look at that they are braided carbon fiber not the standard carbon fiber weave that you see with other uh, wheels like BSTs and uh, Rotobox these are braided carbon fiber wheels look at the attention to detail absolutely stunning and you probably can't see it but there's information so there's serial number and size up here uh, along with some information um, etched on the back of the wheel. You have this and Krupp uh, labels here, and you can really see this awesome braided carbon fiber. If you've never witnessed the process uh, of uh, braided carbon fiber, just just Google it. Just uh, Google this and Krupp uh, braided carbon fiber. There are a couple of videos on YouTube. It's a massive machine. I think it's about 10 or 15 feet tall that braids it, and it's it's pretty interesting to, to, to watch, but these wheels are absolutely, absolutely stunning. On the edges here, it's sort of roughed up where the, uh, the tire beads sits, and here is perfectly smooth and finished, just like the rest of the wheel. This way, the, uh, the tire sits in here won't slip uh, on your wheel. I opted for uh, gloss finish, so they come in two finishes, satin and gloss. There are no other options. You can't change the hub color here, and you can't do some other, other uh, customized things that you can with uh, BST or Rotobox. But these are gorgeous nonetheless. Actually, I don't want that to slide off the cover, so let's put them back in the bag. Let's open up the front wheel. You can see, awesome little bag they come in. Here's the front wheel. Man, absolutely gorgeous. Now, the only thing that I was a little bit disappointed in, uh, because uh, again, they don't offer a lot of options. So uh, these are standard steel wheel bearings. They didn't offer um, your ceramic wheel bearings, which is typically what you do when you're going to purchase a set of wheels this expensive, this light, this nice. You tend to go with uh, ceramic bearings, but they did not offer that as an option. So standard uh, steel wheel bearings with wheel seals and things of that nature but gorgeous 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 wheels I cannot wait to get these on but um, let's see what else we have in here what else comes in here um, <clears throat> uh, just some front wheel directions direction of rotation blah 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 um, operating instructions, technical details, so tells you what it fits, um, some more information, uh, again, the wheel type, sizes and specs and things of that nature, um, probably the, the serial numbers and things of that nature as well, and I'm sure you can register these uh, for warranty purposes, so you want to keep this for the front and rear wheel. But, um, but nevertheless, let's get these on the scale and compare them to the BST Rapid Text that I purchased for the MV Agusta F4. 
Okay, first up, let's weigh our BSTs. So here I have my scale, and I have a couple of metal dowels on the scale. Uh, this is just to keep the, the wheel from rolling off the scale, and the terry cloth towel here is to keep from <laughs> the metal rods there, or the metal dowels, scratching the BSTs. But we'll turn it on and zero out the scale here. And actually, let me turn it this way. And you can see the scale is zeroed there. That way the light is better. And we'll weigh the front wheel. Put that on there. And you can see we have five pounds, 14.3 ounces. For the front and for the rear, nice and easy. We have five pounds, 8.8 .8 ounces for the rear. Now let's weigh the other wheels. All right, so like the BSTs, we will weigh the front wheel first. There we go. And you can see we have five pounds, 12.7 ounces. So a little bit lighter, not a whole lot. Uh, what's that, two ounces roughly uh, than the BST. And now we will weigh the rear wheel. And we have six pounds, 7.3 ounces. So, so heavier rear wheel, lighter front wheel, overall savings is probably nil in compared to the BST Rapid Tex. Regardless, I think they're going to look spectacular on this bike. So enough talk and show. Let's get these wheels off. Uh, we'll get the tires dismounted. And then we'll get them mounted and balanced and put on this bike with, uh, with these, excuse me, these wheels uh, with the rotors and things of that nature. But we need to get these wheels and tires off the Panigale Speciale. Okay, so for shits and giggles, let's weigh our stock Marcassini forged aluminum wheels that come stock on our Panigale V4 Speciale. I have the scale over here. You can see it's already zeroed out. We'll start with the front wheel. Put that on there. There's the front wheel. And we have six pounds, 12.6 ounces for the front wheel. Six pounds, 12.6 ounces for the front wheel. Put that down. Now let's do our rear wheel. So there's the rear wheel and we have, oh, get that up out of the way. So we'll call it seven pounds, 14.3 ounces for the rear wheel. Seven pounds, 14.3 ounces. I will put wheel weights for all six wheels up on the screen right now so that you can see. So we have our Marcassini forged aluminum wheels that come stock on our V4 Speciale compared with the BST Rapid Tech wheels. Those are actually from my MVF4 over there. So not directly from this bike, but they're roughly the same single sided swing arm uh, and such. And our uh, ThyssenKrupp braided carbon fiber wheels. So there you go, guys. Weights for all three wheels stock BST ThyssenKrupp. Well, here she is, guys, with the wheels all installed in all her glory. We finally got some sun this morning, so I wanted to get her out here while the sun was still shining. Thanks to my grandbabies for all the artwork on the driveway. <laughs> you gotta love them. But I just want to get some shots of the bike in the sun before we wrap up with the new ThyssenKrupp braided carbon fiber wheels. As we saw in the last clip, not a huge weight savings. I think uh, like a pound and a half, two pounds total, maybe something along those lines. I have to go back and look again, but these are stunning. As I mentioned before, I got these at uh, Bellissimoto. I'm not sure how many sets Randy has in stock or has on order, but you should get yourself a set. Word of note, these ThyssenKrupp wheels are not to be confused with the carbon fiber wheels that come on the 
BMW S1000RR M package or the new BMW M1000RR. Uh, Thiss and Krupp uh, created the wheels for uh, the HP4 race and the HP4 race only. Those other wheels uh, that BMW uses on the S1000RR M package as well as the M1000RR made by a different company is not Thiss and Krupp. Um, if you're like me, you probably did a Google search of like who the hell is Thiss and Krupp and so forth, and you probably found out that they are a conglomerate. Uh, the Thiss and Krupp name is an umbrella corporation for, I think, about 50 or 60 smaller companies. Uh, and BMW contracted with them to build these wheels, and they started basically a, a new division, <clears throat> excuse me, a lightweight division that's going to do a lot with carbon fiber, not just wheels and so forth. So they're a multi-billion dollar company, and they're certainly not going to make a whole lot of money selling carbon fiber wheels to you and I for our motorcycle. So uh, this division is not only going to build carbon fiber wheels, but they're going to do a lot of other things with lightweight materials in general. So not just carbon fiber, but most likely titanium and some other materials. And uh, they'll be doing all types of things. So that's how you go from basically uh, a steel manufacturing company and, and building elevators to carbon fiber wheels. But um, yeah, <clears throat> there you have it. I just wanted to do a quick video. We'll do a full ride, maybe today, I'm not sure. Uh, the weather's not supposed to be great through the end of the weekend, but uh, we'll do a ride very soon and see how these wheels feel in comparison to my BST Rapid Text that I had on the MV, as well as the stock uh, Marcassini forged aluminum wheels. But um, we'll wrap it up. You guys know the drill. I am Derek. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or smash it if you're into that kind of thing. Until next time, guys, take care.